Hi everyone, I'm Tammy Harrison and on this episode of Behind the Curtain, we will be focusing on one of the most classic and timeless love stories ever. Except this love story was turned into a multi-million dollar production where the main character is a 20 foot, 1.1 ton of steel and latex puppet. Eat your heart out Sesame Street, King Kong is back and live on stage. The 76-man crew behind the musical consists of an array of highly credited award-winning directors, producers, choreographers, production designers, composers and animatronic specialists from across the globe, as well as 50 actors, singers, dancers, circus performers and puppeteers. And speaking of puppets, let's meet our leading man, King Kong. part marionette, animatronic and puppet. With 985 feet of electrical cable, 1500 connections and 16 microprocessors inside. Made entirely at the Global Creatures West Melbourne workshop, where also the creatures of Walking with Dinosaurs and How to Train Your Dragon were made, Kong's facial expressions are delivered by 15 industrial servo motors and two hydraulic cylinders, all controlled in real time by an off-stage voodoo puppet operator. Normally reserved for high-end film animatronics and never been seen on stage before, the puppeteer has complete control over Kong's eyebrows, nose, upper and lower lips, jaw, corners of the mouth and upper and lower eyelids. As well as the animatronic core, Kong is operated on stage by 11 King's Men, who are all circus artists specially trained in puppetry. This truly is an amazing production and a once in a lifetime experience. And due to its enormous size, King Kong the Musical will only be performed at the Regent Theatre in Melbourne. For now. If you're watching us from YouTube or Vimeo, make sure to click on the BTS Hub link below to see some of the behind the scenes pictures and Kong schematics in greater detail. Thanks again for watching Behind the Curtain. Until next time, I'm Tammy Harrison. Cheerio.